so this is going to be a uh, um, quick unbox for the new version of the Hannah. Um, I already have the old version and I've, I've done a review on it, which hasn't been released yet, but I'll, I'm going to do that and I'm going to compare it to the new one. Um, so anyway, unbox, no shrink wrap on here. Uh, just a couple of these little circular pieces of tape, which I'm sure we've all seen. Uh, looks like it's uh, yeah, pretty much the same as the old box. Exactly the same, except for maybe the print. Huh? In fact, I have the old box. Let's take this is the old box. And if we look inside of this one, we can see that internally they're exactly the same. And even in there, exactly the same. So they updated the external packaging, this part, the sleeve. But really, that's it. So, all right. So let's uh, take this out. So just like the original one, a couple of sleeves full of a box of uh, tips. And I used the tips that they came with, and they worked fine on the original set. Uh, I like the tips. No problems with those. Comes with the little... I think this might be... Yeah, this, so this is a package of filters, which I haven't used. I really don't like screwing with those things. I, I, I've tried them out. They don't. They make a little bit of difference. It has a little like uh, identification thing to tell you that it's a, a genuine product. Little business card, little instruction manual, all the same crap. So there they are in the box. They've already got tips on them, which is good. Uh, they they certainly are pretty. I definitely like the way they look. It's got the plastic. I'm not going to take that off yet. In fact, let me see. I have <clears throat> I have the original one here, and we can see that the original one was just white. And comparing the two together, we can see the differences there. Exact same shell and everything, just uh, this one's gold plated, it looks like. Um, they feel like the same weight, too. This one, they both are heavy or solid feeling, so set that aside. Um, the cable. Well, it, it seems to be a nice you know, a nicer cable than the other one. I, I don't know. These are, I don't really like these. I guess they're okay. These super thin cables. They're okay. The one that came with the other one. Let me see. It's, it's exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same cable. Okay. Cable's okay. It works fine. You know, it's, it's very fancy with all the gold plating on there. Um, and I'm guessing that it came, yeah, it comes with the same zipper case, which I actually really like this case. Um, yeah. So now the other one, yep, exactly the same, no difference. So um, it's a nice white case, and it's got this, like, copper-plated zipper. And I, I really like this case. It's... It's really nice and comfortable. It fits in my pocket and it zips closed, which I like instead of some of the magnetic ones. Um, yeah, it's a nice little case. Okay, well, I'll get on to a review of these things here shortly. 
and uh, let you guys know if they're if they really are any better. Back again with the new Hans Jim, <laughs> the new Tans Jim Hannah. That is a crazy name, Tanch Jim. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm too American, I guess. Sorry. <clears throat> so this is the new one to replace the the old one, which is right here. Um, you can see I'll show the differences between the two and um, what they look like. Um, so they just changed the package. The, 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 I'm sorry. They did not change the internal packaging. They changed this outer sleeve. That's the only thing that's different is this sleeve. The box inside is the same, all the accessories are the same, the case is the same, nada was changed inside the packaging, just so you know, okay? Let's put that back over there. <clears throat> You'll see that in the in, in the unbox, oh, forget it. The case, the same, don't care about that, let's move that out of the way. Um, move one of these out of the way, now, these are the new, same cable too, by the way. Nothing, nothing's changed with that. It's still this janky cable. Um, I'll get a close up on this if I can. This is the, the Hannah there. That's what it looks like. I still have the plastic on it, actually. I didn't take that off yet. So no, I'm gonna leave it on for now. It's gold plated. It, and, and you can see these things are really beautiful. There's no, there's no doubt about that. No, I'm not going to argue that. The, these are super beautiful. They're weighty. You know, they've got they've got weight to them. Are they more weighty than? No, they're the same weight. It feels like I'm sure they could be like you know gram difference or something. I don't know, but it's it's pretty much exactly the same. Sorry, if we uh, compare those right there. You can see there, nothing's changed. They're same size, same everything. Um, vent hole is in the same place on both of them. The, you know, one of the things these manufacturers do that I, I, I don't like is they miss little details. And maybe I'm, I'm too detail oriented or what the, I don't know. But if you could see this here, let's see if I can get that in view. Put that my hand behind it. You'll see that where this piece connects in, there's a little space between it touching the top of the IEM housing. And that's because if you can see this, my hand there like this, you'll see there's this little plastic, sorry, this little plastic nub on there, right? And what that's meant to do is that that plastic piece right there is meant to fit down inside of the slot on the top of the IEM, and then you don't see it. But they didn't make this slot deep enough, so this sits up, I don't know what that is, a millimeter, less than a millimeter, got it backwards, less than a millimeter. I, it's, I didn't measure it, but it, it it's really noticeable and I don't like the way it looks, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's one of those little things that they should think about. They're gonna give you a kind of a cheap ass cable like this. This thing's, you know, 179 bucks. So it's not cheap. And they're gonna give you this kind of cheap ass cable. I've gotten way nicer cables on $50, $60 IEMs. So I, I don't get that kind of thinking at all. And I, I wish they would not go cheap when they're doing this. Everything else is so nice. The case is nice. You know, this is this is nice. The tip assortment is nice. The IEM itself is beautiful in the way it looks. Um, so why why chintz out on the cable that way? I don't know. All right, let's let's get on to what you really probably care about, which is the sound, because of course I forget that tip. Of course the the cable doesn't matter. It's, I mean, maybe cables matter somewhere somehow. I don't know, but it's still. I tried an expensive cable on this. I have. I have expensive cables just so I can, you know, if they piqued my interest and I wanted to find out if they worked or not, there is a difference. There wasn't, but um, I tried it on this just to see. I, I tried to balance cable, uh, more power, but that's, that's it. Um, the sound impressions for this guy right here on the, the newer version. So I made sure that I used the same songs as I did on the old version in the last video that I did. Um, and I, I even looked at my old notes to kind of look for when I say old, I mean, I listened to the old other ones 
And then within a week or a month, I was listening to these guys. So I, and then I even kept the old ones around long enough while well, they're sitting right there um, so that I could kind of do back and forth comparison. I couldn't really do a B blind testing type thing because you know, you got to take them in and out of your ear and, and all that mess. But so here's my notes um, on the new version. So on the song, high and low hunting high and low from aha in the mtv uh, studio recording or live recording um i had said initially on the other tan on the other hand is that the, they were very sibilant and i didn't like the way it sounded with his voice it it, it it distorted it um the sibilance is is pretty much all but gone i i could pick up just the slightest hint of it a few times when i was listening to these but but mostly um mostly gone and um, the waver in his voice, which I complained about in the old ones because it's a specific thing to his voice. Um, uh, it, it sounded much better now, much better. Still not like the best timbre on background instruments and whatnot, but his voice sounded smooth and it sounded really good. Um, it sounded the same amount of, say, forwardness in the mids as it did on the old ones. But overall, it was much smoother. And I think because the bass is better on these and the way they tuned it, that that bass and sub or not sub bass, really, but the bass that bleeds into the mids and and those low ends, the, the mids where the bass kind of lives a little bit, sounds much better, uh, much more fuller and meatier. Um, there's still a bit of grain in that song, but it's still much, much clearer. And that song is one of those songs that that if you've got good equipment and you really hear it the way it's meant to be heard in my opinion um you can get a real emotional response to that song because you can he's has an emotional outpouring when he's singing that song and you can pick up on it and you can feel it i sort of felt that with these a little bit um with some of the equipment i've got that i really like um i i really feel that when i hear that song with these i felt it a little bit the old ones not at all so they definitely improved in that area um amy winehouse now you know uh, live at the BBC. Detail was good, just as good almost as it was in the other ones, or just as good as it was in the other ones. That hasn't changed. Um, the the bass was was okay. It was good. It was much better than before. Actually, much, much better than before. It was, it was tighter and cleaner. And um, yeah, it, it sounded right. Um, her voice wasn't sibilant like it was before, and there was no more weird roll offs or, or you know in the in the highs like i heard before it sounded really good i actually enjoyed listening to it on these in fact i wanted to kind of keep listening you know i i really enjoyed it uh um beyonce uh hold up from the lemonade album a uh, bass was much better tighter detail was really good stage was good i could hear the background voices behind her which is kind of hard to hear there's a, a section in that song where there's a guitar playing in the background and it sounded much better on this than it did on the old one. I could really hear it. Uh, the stage was good. Um, and the vo there was a veil that was um, over the whole song kind of in her voice. That veil was pretty much gone. These, these felt a lot, lot clearer and uh, really, really enjoyed, enjoyed that song on these. Um, Yo Yo Ma, um, the song Trappings from the Not Our First Goat Rodeo song, uh, Goat Rodeo album. Um, the, uh, sibilance was gone. Mostly I heard a tiny, tiny bit in a couple sections, but mostly just gone. Um, it was like, so on certain S sounds that they made, um, on like this one sick singer in particular in the song, I could hear the tiniest bit of, of sibilance in it, but it, it wasn't anything that bothered me. Um, I was listening probably more than you would. Cause I was, you know, going to do a review on these. Um, the voices overall sounded much better and the emotional kind of connection you can get from that song i felt with this way more than i did because i didn't feel it at all with the old version so th this was much better there too um there was a there was kind of a veil as well on that one in the old ones that was gone with this um the mids were a little bit forward but they sounded really good so really good on that song as well um it felt much airier and cleaner um or airier and clearer i guess you'd say with these than it did with the old version. So, uh, which I really enjoy that, you know, um, Nord Jones come away with me is another one that I like to listen to that whole album. I have the, um, um, P 
piano was good, really good. Vocals were really smooth and actually realistic. I really, I, I, the timbre was better. Um, no sibilance at all detected. Bass was good. The mids were a little forward, but sounded really good. Um, all in all, there's a big improvement in, in this one over the other one. I would feel much better about the price that I paid for this at 179, I guess, than I would if I paid that for the old ones, right? I mean, there's no way I could even recommend the old ones. These I could, I could actually recommend. Um, you know, other, uh, so there's, there's another IEM I listened to recently, and I, I don't want to do a spoiler on that one, but it's the AudioSense DT600. I believe these are much better than those, and these are almost a hundred bucks less than those. So, um, yeah, um, the timbre on these is still not where I would like it to be. You know, I can listen to songs that don't, and, and where the equipment doesn't have good timbre. It's totally okay. We do it all the time. We listen to the car radio, whatever, you know, and, and you still enjoy it and have just as much fun listening to it. It's just that when I'm in the mood to really listen to audio and kind of dig in, then I want that timbre to be right. Cause it, it just makes the whole experience, you know, so much more realistic. Um, and I, I don't get that from these. I don't get that kind of timbre. They're enjoyable to listen to for sure, but timbre is not their strong suit. Um, so would I, and, and you know what? So the more I listen to these, the better they sound to be, to be completely honest. Right. I, and I enjoyed them, but you know, the thing with that is the danger with that is that your brain adjusts to sound when you're listening to it. There was some study done. I, I remember reading about it on, on, on the internet um, years ago. And in that study, they found that, uh, um, <clears throat> that people listen to or remember a song they were listening to on the radio and it sounded so good. And now they listen to it again on even higher end equipment and it doesn't sound as good. And they're like, why does it? Because your brain adjusts when it's listening to something over and over and starts to fill in things and make things sound better. It kind of adjusts that sound because really your ears are just one part of the equation. Your ears are sending a signal, but your brain's doing the interpreting and your brain is what is actually hearing it. That's, that's how you're, you're, you're hearing it and taking it in is because it's taking that signal from your ears and interpreting it into something that can, you can think about and understand and enjoy. So there is a danger when you're listening too much or too long, it starts to sound better and better. And it's not really that it is better. It's just that. So anyway, guess where I'm going with that long ramble is, <laughs> is that um, my first impression is the one I usually go with and not too, too much later after listening a, a lot. So do I recommend these at $179? And by the way, I, I found them out on Linsoul. If you're willing to take a chance to order from overseas, because if you don't like them, you know, forget about sending them back. It's going to cost you more and be more of a hassle than it's going to be worth it. So if you want to buy them at a higher price on Amazon, which is what I did, that's fine. But I bought it under my Prime account. And so that means I can return them and I don't have any hassles. I just drop it off. So uh, at $179 on Amazon or $162 bucks out at Linsoul, um, would I recommend it? This is, this is a tough one. Um, I, I'm at a point now in, in my audio journey where if something doesn't sound like really, really great, I just don't want to bother with it because I've, I've now heard really great stuff. And I think to myself, how much time do I have left in life and how much time do I actually have to enjoy music? I don't have a lot cause I have a family and a career and so the time that I spend, I really want it to be, you know, valuable. Like it's, or I should say it is valuable to me and I want it to be worth it. So if something is not really, really good, I don't really want to bother myself with it. Um, I'd rather spend a thousand dollars or more and, and, you know, save up and, and spend that so that I can get something that I just super enjoy and love than spend 170 bucks or 80 bucks and get something I kind of enjoy because it's cheaper that doesn't make sense to me. Not when you're talking about something that's bringing enjoyment to your life. So I, I don't recommend these at 179. There are things I've heard that sound better. You know, I, I got these, these uh, melees, which I'm going to do a review on. I think it's called melee. Maybe it's melee. I don't know, but it, it's that one. It was a collaboration with, uh, I think that guy from, um, um, bad guy, good audio reviews or something. 
Yeah, that's what it is. Um, he did like collab and, and I wasn't so sure. I thought it was going to be so hokey, but truthfully, these, which I think are like 59 bucks, they sound better than the Hannah's. I, I like them better than the new Hannah. So I, I like, I like the, the, um, high, uh, tin hi-fi T5 much better than I like the Hannah. <laughs> so I can't really recommend them because there's other things that are less expensive that sound better. If you like bling, these are freaking blingy. All right. If that's what you're into, then these are gold plated. They're beautiful for sure. When I put them in my ears, there's almost an expectation of them sounding good because of the way they look. They're, they're super beautiful. I cannot like take that away from them. The cable is, is crap. With a much nicer cable, I'd be more comfortable. Um, one that fit all the way down, that kind of thing. But overall, you know, they're beautiful. They sound good. They don't sound great. They don't sound as good as other things that cost less. So, you know, I, I'm going to say you're not losing money buying these in the sense that they're garbage. They're not at all. They sound good. They're, they come with very nice success accessories the case they're beautiful looking you could replace the cable for pretty cheap and get a, a must much less janky cable but overall I, I just for me the price is not there for the quality of this of what i'm hearing in the sound not compared to other things that are out there nowadays the world has has changed drastically in 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 this audio field and you can you can get so much more for for less um I would say if you're willing to spend this much, just save up a little bit longer and, you know, get something more expensive, move up to the next tier, like the, the Theo Audio Monarch, way superior to these. Um, three times the price, but, you know, I, in my opinion, more than worth it. So I, I would use spend my time with that kind of stuff, not with this. Uh, anyway, that's my review. I hope it uh, helps you in some way, uh, make a decision and not waste your money. Remember, be careful buying from overseas manufacturers because when you, if you want to return it, they're going to say, okay, great, ship it back to us. They're not going to say, hey, we'll send you a shipping label and pay for that. Nope, you pay for the shipping. If they do not have a US address, which only one I've dealt with doesn't, there's only one I've dealt with, I'm sorry, there's only one that I've dealt with that does have a US address that let you ship to. All the rest don't. Uh, I sent back a pair to Hi-Fi Go just recently of other IEMs, and it's been two months. I still don't have them. They still don't have them because there's some delay in China, and it cost me like 50 bucks to send them back. So huge disaster, okay? Um, be careful. If you buy on Amazon or even some other seller, uh, just look at, look at the requirements for returns before you buy, okay? Because you, you might not be happy with what you... Uh, or end up with. All right. Um, good luck. Have a great day, guys.